Paul Peter Odens here just to demonstrate a new option in Vulcan 10 under the Geology menu. It's called Vein Modeler. And what we're basically doing is using some of our grid-based grid cap grid capability to model thin veins and ensure that surfaces don't cross. There's two new options uh, under the Vein Modeling menu. There's Vein Modeler itself, which is designed to hold, handle multiple veins in one pass. And there's also Model or Vein Surface, where you can just model a single vein surface. If we look at the drilling database we've got here, uh, this is a metalliferous data set where you can see if you have a look there's that green interval there and the orange one and they're basically sort of sub-vertical. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself into a view which represents the, you know, a perpendicular plane to your model. So in this instance I'm just going to go into section view and I'm going to make a simple vertical section through the guts here somewhere. And then I can go to the option and the way we've done it is you come down and I'll just look at Vein Modeler. You set up a few uh, preliminaries, spec file name, and the extents. Uh, unlike grid, we can simply do things in plan. You have to actually select the plane. So I'm going to come in here, go into snap mode, and define my plane with three points in a plane. Bang. I can now define my actual modeling extent. So similar to grid modeling, I can rubber band my way around this data. But remember, we're not in a um, horizontal plane. So this gives you an indication of the surface, but don't forget it being rotated, and also the sort of plane you're operating in. It does run off a horizon list file, similar to a um, coal type horizon list file. These are your vein names, and I've ticked on the ones I'm interested in. Where are you, where are you getting your data from? So you can make uh, map files, which, which will extract hanging walls and footfall information from the drill holes, and you can also include CAD information for hanging walls and footwalls based on points and layers. Then a modelling method, uh, I'm using a triangulation method and a first order trend just to try and perpetuate the veins and and uh, you know whether you want the foot walls to honour the hanging walls or vice versa if they come together. And that's pretty much it, let it run. So it cranks through, makes your new models and under here we've got a whole bunch of nice new hanging wall foot wall models so I can load them up. Um, they might look a little bit funny in rotated view but it's just Go back into plan, you can see now we've got these surfaces. And if we actually um, go back into the initial cross sectional view I had, you can sort of see what we've done. So it's, it's used grid modeling techniques. The section might be a bit thick here to, to um, show you, you know, honor the data, but using the uh, abilities of grids to model very thin, sparsely. Um, you know, separated data points, but still on the data intercepts and ensure no veins cross each other. And you can play with the parameters and fine tune it to your heart's content, but uh, fundamentally that's what it's all about.